Shrek is another one of those animated films that managed to be both appealing to and enjoyable for children and adults. It's a story of Shrek, an ogre who lives a fairly isolated life in a forest. In the course of his journey, Shrek comes into contact with Donkey, who becomes his friend without his permission. Characters from fairy tales and nursery rhymes appear, but aren't the main focus. Centering the story on Shrek, the most unlikely of protagonists, helps the film to feel new and different. It's a more complex story than what we might think of as typical children's movies. It creatively addresses self-esteem, how we perceive ourselves, and how we perceive others. Shrek is not a conventionally cute character. Whenever he journeys out of his area and comes into contact with people, they immediately become afraid and run off screaming. Sometimes it turns into a pitchforks and torches situation, but he's grown relatively used to this reaction. To spare his own feelings, Shrek pushes people away. On one of his excursions, he meets Donkey, who's having some issues from which Shrek somewhat saves him. Donkey latches onto Shrek as Lord Farquaad, a local noble, is displacing the various fairy tale and storybook characters. This results in them taking up residence as squatters in Shrek's forest. As someone that wants to be alone and doesn't want to be bothered, this is problematic for Shrek. It leads to him striking a deal with Lord Farquhar to go off and rescue a princess, which will help Lord Farquhar achieve his goal of becoming a king. Before we get too far along, one of the things that I really enjoy about Shrek is that there are quite a number of jokes that are decidedly geared towards adults. It's not really like a cartoon made for adults, but it's made to appeal to adults as well. So it's not like, say, Adult Swim or other adult-oriented cartoons, but rather they add some witty side jokes that can appeal to both kids and adults. One of my favorites is the entire exchange between the gingerbread man and Lord Farquhar. Farquhar has captured the gingerbread man and is having him tortured. It's an intense interrogation, and they in all seriousness launch into this whole Do You Know the Muffin Man nursery rhyme. The first time that I saw it, I thought it was ridiculously hilarious. There are these little moments throughout the film that elicit giggles, but what's more impressive is the overarching story. People look at Shrek and prejudge him because he's big, green, not conventionally attractive, lives in a swamp. When people come into contact with him, they automatically make assumptions about him based on his appearance, and like they run off screaming. As a result of this, instead of continuing to put himself out there, he's withdrawn, isolating himself from others. He's cut himself off from forming relationships or friendships. He's cut himself off from forming relationships or friendships with other people as a means of protecting himself emotionally. I like Shrek as he's a cool laid back guy who doesn't bother anybody. Donkey on the other hand, Donkey as a real person would be a lot to deal with. He's loud, constantly talking, just an all-around noise machine. He blurs the lines between being a good friend and absolutely annoying, but his genuinely sweet nature helps him somehow remain lovable. He takes it upon himself to befriend Shrek and forms a friendship with him which helps to bring Shrek out of his shell. Lord Farquaad wants to meet and marry a princess so that he can finally become king, but he has some shortcomings of his own, no pun intended. There's a princess named Fiona who's being guarded by a dragon and the plan is to rescue and marry her. Lord Farquaad wants to be king but is short in stature and thus doesn't have the large and robust appearance usually portrayed by kings or princes. He also doesn't want to go out on this like typical legend making journey. He opts instead to organize a tournament to find a knight who will go on this journey in his place. Knights are typically described as being tall, handsome, and possessing an alpha male persona. Lord Farquhar does not fit these criteria, and Shrek further throws off this dynamic when he emerges as the winner of the tournament. Yet while Shrek does not fit the image of a knight in many ways, he is the right man for the job. He's best suited to go out and succeed where so many others have failed him and Donkey set out on the, there were many others who failed despite fitting the expected criteria. So him and Donkey set out on this quest to rescue Princess Fiona. And as in many fairy tales, she's being guarded by a dragon. And even the dragon isn't what you'd expect, where when they arrive at this castle, there's skeletons all over, you know, remains of other knights who have come to try to rescue Princess Fiona. There's this big dragon who at first glance appears to be scary and terrifying and whatnot. Come to find out she's like a lady dragon. Again, she's sweet, looking for love. So again, you have this thing of the unexpected, this thing where you might make prejudgments about an individual and who they are, but what they turn out to be is quite different from that. So there's this thing of this message really of not prejudging people, not making assumptions or categorizing others without getting to know them. 
Likewise, when Shrek and Donkey finally meet Fiona and they begin their journey back home, they end up having a really great time with her. She's impressive. She's unexpected. They find out that like she knows martial arts. She's a great fighter. You would expect as a princess that she would be like this very delicate, tender person. She turns out to be quite nice and a little bit tough. She shares quite a bit in common with Shrek and along the journey home, like her and Donkey end up forming a really good connection. They become friends and Shrek, who thus far has kind of closed himself off from other people, unexpectedly finds himself liking Fiona. Now, unbeknownst to Shrek and Donkey and Larfoquar, is that while Fiona is a princess by day, at dusk, she also turns into an ogre. So her and Shrek have even more in common than he imagines. But there's some miscommunication and misunderstandings where when Shrek finally decides to step out and take a chance to tell Fiona his feelings, he overhears a conversation between her and Donkey and, you know, things just go wrong. He's hurt and disappointed when he thinks that she views him in the same way that most other people view him, right? At the same time, Fiona has a fear that while Shrek might like her as a princess, that he might not... He might not like all of her, the real her. There's this expectation for princesses to be beautiful. And sure, she might be during the day, but she isn't after sundown. And so she has this fear that she won't live up to expectations, that Shrek won't like her he, if he knew the real her, if he knew all the sides of her. And, and so as with many movies of this nature, there's this misunderstanding that leads to them kind of um, going their own ways. But later on in the film, when she's taken off to marry Lord Farquhar, her secret is revealed. But prior to that, there's this thing of this assumption on the part of many. Shrek included that there's no way that Fiona could be like him because of who he is, what he looks like. But when it's revealed that she's also part ogre, and this is part of why she's been trapped in this castle, right? That this um, curse has been put upon her. Um, her true love is supposed to transform her. It's supposed to free her at last from turning into an ogre. She believes that Lord Valquara is like her one true love, and this is because he ticks some of the boxes for who a princess should theoretically be in. Now, to some degree, granted, like he doesn't fit the stereotype of, let's say, the knight in shining armor. Um, you know, he doesn't fit that, doesn't have the right attitude and demeanor physically as well, you know. As with Shrek, there's like this thing of these various characters, maybe excluding Donkey, where these three main characters, these expectations and whatnot that are placed on them, that they place on themselves, and then there's like the reality of who they are. This thing of prejudging and expectations that we place on other people, assumptions that we make about other people, but in giving themselves and giving each other a chance, they end up finding more than they expected. They find what they're looking for. So it's like moving past this thing of prejudging, right? And the expectations that we place on other people, assumptions that we make about other people, right? In giving themselves and giving each other a chance, they end up finding more than they expected. They find what they were looking for and then more. Fiona and Shrek ultimately find love in each other as a result of Shrek moving beyond his insecurities and Fiona as well. So them stepping out of their comfort zones and taking a chance, them taking the time to look past each other's exteriors to get to know each other on the inside. Initially, Fiona saw Shrek as being an ogre and didn't think that he could be a good match for her, or initially didn't see him as being her potential Prince Charming. And Shrek as well, looking at Fiona and seeing her as a princess, didn't think that she would be interested in him at all. But with them getting to know each other, forming a friendship, like getting past the surface stuff, right, to a deeper level, looking past each other's exteriors, they end up finding that what they needed was in this unexpected person, that by taking a chance and by looking past a person's exterior, they found exactly what they needed in another person. At deeper level, Shrek is actually a really sweet movie, and I think it's a nice message to give to kids. This thing about not being superficial and looking past people's exteriors to get to know them as people, rather than making assumptions and prejudging them based on their physical appearance. So with that, actually, I think this is a sweet movie, right? The filmmakers 
put together a movie with a message that, let's say for lack of a better term, without making it overly syrupy or overly preachy as you might have with some other children's films or projects. The use of comedy, the little inside jokes, the side stories, and some of the side characters as well as like Donkey helped to add a bit of comedy and wittiness to the movie. Not to say that it would have been like heavy and depressing otherwise, but I think it helps to balance things out so it doesn't turn into like an after school special. And with that, Shrek is really special and a great movie. Definitely a film that can be enjoyed by children, but also something that would appeal to adults. Thanks for tuning in. To ensure you don't miss any episodes, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and check out my movie review playlist. Go ahead and click the thumbs up button if you like what you saw, and go ahead and share it on social media.